today i would like to talk a little bit about this illustration i did so this is a mandala that my sister created we have a joint mandala coloring book together if you'd like to actually try coloring this page for yourself link is in the description below for a printable downloadable copy of the pdf of the entire coloring book Ooh, it's 15 pages and it's really fun so anyway um i was excited about talking about this because this was the first time I actually tried to use um, acrylic paint to create like a water effect. So previously I have done something similar but I would use watercolor. However, I really wanted to explore different mediums. And so here you see me actually using a palette knife to apply the paint because I really wanted to get that textured look of like waves kind of like hitting the surface and having that kind of dimension that I was always loving when I looked at other people's paintings so yeah I really wanted to experiment with that so after I was finished and happy with that I used a hairdryer to just dry it down and I decided to go ham with the highlighter I was so keen on having this neon effect and I had just gotten these highlighters from Shein so I was also very curious about whether these cheap highlighters would actually work and it turns out they do work and they actually look kind of nice the colors are really bright and it really brightens up the illustration without having to do much work and I haven't really used them much again but for the time being that I was using them it was fun and easy to apply and yeah it was just overall fun so after that, I moved on to Copics. I don't have a lot of Copics that still work, but the ones that do work, work really nicely. I really, really had fun um, coloring in, especially like the shadow areas with this Copic marker. And then I went back in with the highlighter because I really wanted to have a slight gradient and I felt like the highlighter color was a little bit brighter than the Copic marker, which I really loved. So after I worked on this piece of the highlighters, I went back and forth between the highlighters and the Copic markers and I also ended up using another set of pens which I really love which is my Pentel brush sign pens which are so beautiful and I feel like the color always comes out absolutely perfectly and I really felt like the burst of color was really coming out and standing out from the page which I absolutely love to see and it made the whole coloring experience really really fun especially trying to get into these really really hard to reach detailed areas the sign pen really really does such a good job and then I decided to use the sign pen to experiment with creating a ripple effect on the acrylic paint and this for me was groundbreaking because I remember watching a brief ad about how you can use these sign pens for basically everything and this did not disappoint at all. I'm so pleased at how beautiful these colors came out, how defined as well and I know you can't see it here but as I carry on working on the piece you can see how bold the navy blue or aquamarine stands out against the lighter tone of blue and really starts to create that layered effect that I wouldn't be able to get such clean lines had I been using paint. I do hope to eventually get to a place one day where I can make really clean lines with my paintbrush but right now I don't really think I have a good enough quality paintbrush to actually have those fine lines of tuned brush strokes so being able to rely on this pen set in order to achieve such beautiful precision coloring and um, thin guided lines makes the whole entire experience so much better 
I love it so much. I finished all of the navy blue ripple effect. I went over everything with correction fluid. And so I've seen an anime artist do this and I wasn't sure whether it would come out nice, but I really feel like it came out beautifully. I feel like the different contrast between the white and the blue really pops out of the page and gives you the impressions that you're looking at a water surface and I feel that the overall overall effect is achieved. So I wouldn't say this is like the most amazing piece that I've done but I do feel like for the sake of like practicing texture I 100% achieved what I set out to do and I'm actually really pleased with myself. So if you want to get a print of this or you want to try to work on this mandala yourself, all the links to my art print and the PDF is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, comment below what you think and I'll see you in the next time. Bye bye! Thank you.